Hello everyone, I'm Sue Levitt. Thanks for joining us for your city news update. Well, U.S. health officials have redefined what counts as close contact with someone with COVID-19 to include briefer but repeated encounters. Previously, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said close contact meant spending a solid 15 minutes within six feet of someone who tested positive for coronavirus. But now the CDC has changed the guidance. Now shorter but repeated contacts that add up to 15 minutes over a 24-hour period now count as being in close contact. The CDC advises anyone who has been in close contact with a COVID-19 patient to quarantine for two weeks. Well, the Nevada Health Response, in coordination with the Nevada Department of Health and Human Services, issued guidance providing clarity and the latest information regarding visitation in hospitals and skilled nursing facilities. The guidance, developed in conjunction with the Nevada Hospital Association, follows best practices for helping limit the spread of COVID-19 and also abides by all the federal regulations and guidelines. In recent months, restrictions on visitation have eased to allow family members to visit loved ones. Visitation to skilled nursing facilities remains under certain restrictions and decisions on visitors in hospitals are made by individual hospitals in compliance with federal guidance and regulation. For more information, you can visit nvhealthresponse.nv.gov. Well, Rebuilding Together Southern Nevada has received just over $663,000 from Clark County to help low-income homeowners impacted by COVID-19. The money will pay for repairs for homeowners who were financially hurt by the pandemic and to people who were encouraged to shelter in place because of the coronavirus risk. At least 90 homes will get repairs using the grant, which was funded by the Federal CARES Act. For more information or to apply, you can visit rtsnv.org. Well, that's going to do it for this City News Update. We want to thank you for joining us. For all of the latest information you need on COVID-19, you can head to our website. That's lasvegasnevada.gov coronavirus. We'll see you next time.